Hi, in this video we'll take a quick look at how you can install Elasticsearch. Now the demo itself that I'm showing you today or the setup steps, uh, I'm doing it on a um, variant of Ubuntu. However, um, the same steps should apply if you were to install it on other Linux machines or for that matter, even if you're not using Linux and if you're using um, a different platform like Windows for your dev environment. Uh, so the steps are basically identical. Now, the thing to keep in mind is these are steps which are very focused around putting together a single development machine. Uh, so all we are setting up today is a single node environment. Uh, so essentially we are not setting it up for, um, you know, very scalable environments, high availability or even anything close to a production environment. Essentially it's a single node environment uh, just to get you started um, and start um, coding uh, using Elasticsearch. Uh, now, to set up Elasticsearch, basically we need to follow three steps. So step one is to install Java. Um, Elasticsearch has been built on top of Java and hence it's a prerequisite. If you already have uh, Java running on your environment, then you can of course skip step one and uh, head straight for step two. So you can skip ahead on the video. Uh, step two will download the latest version of uh, Elasticsearch and do some basic configuration or in a manner of speaking is just copying the files and pretty much running um, the service. And then finally we'll, uh, we'll check if Elasticsearch is working. So that's really it. So three simple steps. Uh, so step one is to install Java. So if, uh, if you're not sure if uh, Java is already running on your machine, simple way to test it is uh, Java and type version. Uh, so here you can see that Java is not installed, so clearly indicates that I don't have Java running on my machine. Um, so uh, given that this is um, uh, an Ubuntu-based system, uh, so I'm going to run the apt get commands. Um, uh, so here, these are the three commands. So if you're on a different operating system, of course, uh, the process to install uh, Java will be different. Uh, so some of the steps might take a long time, so in which case uh, I'm going to uh, pause on the video, uh, but feel free to um, follow through this video step by step. And then finally the last step is uh, to actually install Java itself. Uh, chances are um, you've probably done this many, many times already. All right, so that's installed Java. So just to make sure that it's all working fine. So let's actually run the command again. So Java version. All right, so all good. Uh, so now that we have installed Java, the next thing is to actually go and download Elasticsearch. Uh, so if you head over to elastic.co um, and uh, find the downloads button. Um, so at the point in time when you're uh, watching this video, chances are the navigation may have changed, but uh, find the download section. Uh, here you'll find a couple of uh, different products from uh, Elastic. Uh, the one that we are interested in today is uh, Elasticsearch itself. However, uh, they have some really interesting uh, products uh, which make up the ELK stack or ELK stack. That's uh, Elasticsearch, Logstash, and Kibana. Uh, but now let's just uh, download Elasticsearch. As of the uh, point when I'm recording this video, the 2.1.1 is uh, the latest version. Um, so that's what we're going to download. A couple of different options to download. Um, again, um, uh, you can directly install uh, through .dev file. Um, uh, however, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the zip file. Uh, it's fairly consistent, the zip files uh, or the tar files from all the other projects. So let's just download the zip file. Um, so uh, it, it shouldn't take you too long. Uh, it's uh, also quite interesting that the whole uh, software is uh, pretty much um, in, in under 30 meg. Um, I'm going to hit cancel uh, since I've already downloaded um, uh, the file in advance, but uh, it shouldn't take you too long to download the software. Um, so here's the file um, that I've already downloaded. Uh, you can, um, I, whether you used a zip or a tar file, you can then um, untar that. And uh, I'm gonna put it in um, a folder under my home. I'm gonna call it ELK 
and under ELK I'm going to extract uh, Elasticsearch. Uh, so that's it. So um, here's a folder. So let's just go back to our um, console here and CD. Okay, and CD Elasticsearch. Uh, so running um, Elasticsearch is really simple. So all we need to do is uh, in the bin folder, uh, we have um, the actual files itself. So um, if you're running on a Windows-based environment, you'll notice there's a batch file here. Or if you're on Linux, uh, here's the file that we need to run. Uh, so uh, for today's uh, demo, there's no need to provide any parameters. We can just uh, run uh, Elasticsearch. Um, we are not running it uh, in the background as a daemon. We are running it in the foreground. Um, it really helps us, particularly when we are developing. Uh, you can see um, information and updates coming here in the console. So that's pretty much it. Um, so uh, much of this uh, you can ignore, um, the details that are being presented here. Uh, what's uh, useful is uh, to note that um, uh, Elasticsearch is uh, running um, on this uh, port number here. Uh, so finally, uh, after installing, that's our third and final step is uh, for us to verify if uh, Elasticsearch is uh, running fine. Um, so a couple of ways that you can do that. Um, uh, let's start off with the simplest. So uh, what we need to do is um, just go to local host and uh, the port number is 9200 and uh, here that's pretty much it uh, here it's uh, letting you know that uh, uh, it's all uh, installed correctly so it's given you the version number um, and uh, uh, any other details that you might be interested in so it's uh, it's a good sign that Elasticsearch is uh, running fine um, of course uh, the other ways to verify it um, is if you have um, curl installed, um, you can run a curl command, so curl uh, x get and uh, pretty much the same URL here, uh, paste, and it should tell you the same information. Uh, chances are um, you're going to be working a lot using uh, HTTP post uh, and various other RESTful API uh, scenarios. So what I would advocate is uh, instead of um, necessarily using curl for all your uh, Elasticsearch um, um, requests, uh, suggest that you either install uh, tools like um, uh, Postman, which is a Chrome add-in, um, and of course available on all platforms or if you're a Windows user um, and if you fancy using tools like uh, Fiddler um, these are some great tools that will help simplify or, or accelerate your workflow your development workflow and testing workflow within Elasticsearch um, so in summary this was a really quick video um, giving us an idea in terms of how we can install Elasticsearch and uh, start uh, working on uh, some of the great um, uh, search and analytics capabilities that uh, are enabled using Elasticsearch. Alright, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Thanks everyone for watching.